Hello everyone, this is Ampl 124 here, and guys, today we're, we're going to be reading Level Tickets 15, guys, from the NIV version, also known as the new national version. Anyway, if you guys want to go and read along, you guys can go ahead and go get your own Bible, or you guys can go ahead and go to BibleGateway.com, and then, there you go. But anyway, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Level Tickets 15, this charge is again causing uncleanness. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Speech to the Israelites and say to them, When any man has an unusual bodily discharge, such a discharge is unclean, whether it continues flowing from the body or is blocked to make him unclean. This is how the discharge will bring about any about uncleanness. Any bed the man with a discharge lies on will be unclean, and anything he sits on will be unclean. Anyone who touches his bed must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they'll be un unclean till evening. Whoever sits on anything that the man with a discharge sat on must wash their clothes. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And bathe with water, and they will be unclean till evening. Whoever touches the man who has a discharge must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they will be unclean till evening. If the man with the discharge spits on anyone who is clean, they must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they will be unclean till evening. Everything the man sits on when writing will be unclean and whoever touches any other things that were under him will be unclean till evening whoever picks up these those things must wash their clothes and bathe with water and they'll be unclean till evening anyone the man with a discharge touches without rising his hands with water must wash their clothes and bathe with water and they'll be unclean till evening a clay pot that the man touches must be broken and any wooden article is to be rinsed with water Sorry guys, when a man is cleansed from his discharge, he is to count off seven days for a ceremonial cleansing, a cleansing. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, he must wash, he must wash his clothes and bathe himself with fresh water and he'll be clean. On the eighth day, he must take two doves or two young pigeons and come before the Lord to the entrance to the tent of meeting and give them to the priest. The priest is to sacrifice them the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. In this way, he will make atonement before the Lord for the man because of his discharge. When a man has an omission of semen, he must bathe his whole water, body with water, and he will be unclean till evening. Any clothing or leather that has semen on it must be washed with water, and it will be unclean till evening. When a man has sexual relations with a woman and there is no omission of semen, both of them must bathe with water, and they'll be unclean till evening. <clears throat> when a woman has her regular flow of blood, the impurity of her monthly period will last seven days, and anyone who touches her will be unclean till evening. Anything she lies on during her period will be unclean, and anything she sits on will be unclean. Anyone who touches her bed will be unclean. They must wash her clothes and bathe with water, and they'll be unclean till evening. Any, anyone who touches anything she sits on will be unclean. They must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they'll be unclean till the evening. Whether it is the bed or anything she was sitting on, and anyone touches it, they'll be unclean till the evening. If a man has sexual relations with her, oh, sorry guys, and her monthly flow touches him, he'll be unclean for seven days. Any bed he lies on will be unclean. When a woman has a discharge of blood for many days at a time other than her monthly period, or is a discharge that continues beyond her period, she'll be unclean as long as she has the discharge, just as in the days of her period, any day she lies on while her discharge continues will be unclean, as is her bed during her monthly period, and anything she sits on will be unclean, as during her period, anyone who touches them will be unclean, they must wash their clothes and bathe with water and they'll be unclean till the evening. When she's cleansed from discharge, she must count off seven days, and after that, she'll be ceremonially clean. On the eighth day, she must take two doves or two young pigeons and bring them to the priest at the entrance of the tenant meeting. The priest is to sacrifice one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. In this way, he'll make atonement for her before the Lord for the uncleanness of her discharge. You must keep the Israelites separate from things that make them unclean. So they will not die in their uncleanness, for defiling my dwelling place, which is among them. These are the regulations for a man with a discharge for anyone made unclean by an 
a mission of some men <clears throat> for a woman in her monthly period, for a man or a woman with a discharge, and for a man who has sexual relationship and uh, relations with a woman who is ceremonially unclean. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the like button. And make sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I post. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.